Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? A few days ago, I got an email from reader Linda, and she was having problems upgrading her Safari because the installer said that she needed to shut down Safari, which she thought she already had, but the installer said she was wrong. Well, this brings up an interesting point about the way the Mac works. There's a big difference between closing a window and quitting an application. And I'm going to show you the difference right now. Okay, so here I am surfing the web on the askthebuilder.com site. And you might think, especially if you're used to using Microsoft Windows, that clicking this red X, which is just what Linda did, you might think that that is going to quit Safari. Well, it ends up no. It's just closing that Safari window. You can still see up here that it says Safari, so that right there tells you that the Safari application is still running. But if you happen to go to another application like Calculator, that'll disappear. But you can still see that Safari is running because down here the Safari icon on the dock has that little bluish white dot underneath it. That's the sign that it is still running. So let me show you why that is. It ends up there's two different commands. One under File is Close Window, which can also be done with a Command W. Close Window or Command W is the same as hitting the red X. If you really want to close or want to quit the Safari application, you need to use the Quit Safari option, which is Command Q. Now this Command Q and Command W, those are the same regardless of application. That's true for Safari and Firefox and Chrome. Uh, it, it, Command Q is what shuts down uh, iTunes and iPhoto. It's the same, regardless of program. So the key is, if you really want to close a program, especially in the cases where a, uh, an upgrade installer is trying to replace it, don't just hit the red X. Go up to the program name and choose Quit, or if you can remember, use the Command Q. Then you'll see that not only does the name of the application disappear here, but the little dot will disappear here. When Linda tried this, the installer immediately uh, started the upgrade and she got her new version of Safari just fine. That was all it was waiting for was the application to actually quit completely. So that helped Linda. Hope that helps you mom and anybody else.